welcome back. I'm Erica Champion Wise, Elite Independent Consultant with Paparazzi Accessories. Thanks so much for watching all these videos. You know the drill. Like, share, all that jazz. And today we're going to talk about a tough subject. I'm going to go ahead and prepare you that all nasty comments will be deleted. You know this, okay? Um, we're going to talk about a hard subject. We're going to talk about a really hard subject and we're going to talk about poaching. It is, unfortunately, the reality of our business. It's not something that we love. Definitely. Definitely not something that we love. But it is something that we have to deal with in our business, whether you are brand new or really old. It is just a part of it, both the poaching of customers and the poaching of consultants. So what does that mean? It means stealing. It means thievery. It means theft. It means that another consultant goes through your entire friends list and adds everybody as their friend in the hope that they will shop with them. Or if you have consultants in your VIP group, they are now friends with everybody in your VIP group and inviting them and tagging them in their lives. That is poaching. And poaching consultants means that you are conversing with and building a relationship with someone who's considering joining your team and someone else swoops in and signs that person up for their team. That is poaching, okay? This is a, this is a tough subject because people get very touchy and very open arms in this, open arms over this. And so not a lot of people talk about it, but you know me, I don't shy away from the tough stuff. So we're going to talk about it. And I'm going to tell you up front, poaching happens. Go ahead and accept that. Go ahead and accept that this is part of reality. There are shady people out there. There are liars. There are thieves. There are people doing business all the wrong ways. They are out there. They're out there in the real world. They're surely out in a business like ours. And this is regardless of any business that we're in. You know, you're selling cars and someone undersells you so that they can take the sale. If you're selling office supplies, someone comes in on your territory. This is just the nature of the beast. So don't let this scare you. This is not meant to frighten you. This is not meant to make you angry. This is informational. And the first thing we have to talk about is that this happens. This happens. It's going to happen to you. It has happened to me countless numbers of times. Countless numbers of times. The larger you go in the business, the more customers you have, and the more potential teammates you have, the more it's going to happen. But those who can handle this and handle this well and handle this the right way, are the ones who will have success. And so that's what I want you to get from this video is some ways to handle this, handle this appropriately and not let this kill you and your business or cause you to be like, you know what, screw it, I'm out. That's what I want you to take from this is some, some strategies to handle it. And so we have to talk first about kind of the emotional stuff. I've worked for more than five years to grow my customer base, and I have a very large customer base, and I see often them shopping with other consultants, and logically, I know that, you know, the logic part of my brain, the front part that's busy, they're like, cool, set, shop, girl, go, I let her shop with them too, <laughs> she's got good stuff, she gets all the new releases, you know, logic knows that. But sometimes emotion, especially girls, let's be real here. Okay, let's be real honest. Uh, once a month, we get a little more emotional than others. <laughs> Just be honest, okay? And during that emotionally charged portion of our lives, it goes from logic to not. <laughs> Insert whatever adjective you'd like to there so that we become very emotional and very angry and we take it very personally. And, you know, any other time we'd be like, okay, you know what? It's cool. And people can shop with anyone they want to. No big deal. And so we have to be very aware of that. We have to be very aware of the cycle of our emotions and we can't let emotion dictate the day because at the end of the day, the customer gets to shop with who she wants and that sort of thing. Um, Having someone poach your customers or consultants will be a distraction. It will be a distraction. You will get angry and frustrated and emotional. And you had this great to-do list you were going to do today and you were doing great until you noticed. 
what is she doing on her lap? And then all of a sudden you're down the rabbit hole and you're like searching like the FBI going back. How long have they been friends? Has she been? You are wasting your time. <laughs> you know, I'm, you know, I'm right. Okay. You know, I'm so right. It becomes a distraction. So instead of you getting ready for your own life tonight, you are now like six months deep in her Facebook going, when she at her as a friend? Y'all been talking? How many, how many lies you've been watching? You're wasting your time. It's becoming a distraction for you. See what I'm saying? It's absolutely a distraction for you. Uh, when someone poaches your consultants, it will make you doubt yourself. It's happened to me several times where it makes me doubt. Well, am I just not a good upline? Uh, did I not have something that she wanted in an upline? Did I not say something right? I mean, I said the same thing as this other person. And it will put you into a funk. It might even spiral you down if, if depression and anxiety are your enemies, like they are mine. It will just send, it can send you down. And I don't want it to do that. Know that if someone poaches from you, it's not an indication on you ever. It's an indication on them and their character and all of that jazz. But right now we're talking about you. And I don't want you to allow the actions of someone else to create doubt within yourself. You are a wonderful upline. You are amazing at building relationships. You do know what to say. You do know what to say. Promise. You know what to say. You know the questions to ask and answer. And you know how to build a relationship. Don't allow anything external, the actions of anyone else, to create doubt within yourself. We're still talking about emotions here. And the last emotion that I wrote down is that it's going to make you mad. It's going to make you angry. It's going to piss you off. It's going to make you mad. You know, it's like the stages of grief here. <laughs> it's going to make you mad. And that will be another distraction for you because you can't sell jewelry when you're pissed. It doesn't work out very well. You might sell like three pieces, but if you need 30, it's not going to help you. <sighs> it's going to make you mad. And all of these emotions you have to deal with, you have to do something with them. Because you can't bring that to your business. You can't bring that to your team. You can't dump that on anyone else. You can't dump that on your customers. You cannot post on your Facebook page. Hear me. Listen to me. Eyes on me. You know, teach your thing. You cannot, for the love of God, please don't go to your Facebook. It has come to my attention that somebody has been sending all y'all friend requests. If that happens, you need to let me know. No. No. You can't do it that way. You look like a jerk. I love you, but you look like a jerk. That's not the way to handle it. You want to, that is your initial response. Every time it happens to me, my initial response is to flip. And I can be mean. I can be real mean. But that initial response has to just, breathe. you know, go outside and throw something. I don't know. You can't go acting like that because you're hurt, you're angry, you're doubtful. You can't. That's not going to work. That's not going to help you out. That's not going to make you look like a professional businesswoman. Because like I said in the beginning, this stuff happens everywhere. Every business, everywhere. Somebody undercuts and undermines and poaches and steals from other people. This is not unique to our business. And you're not the only one this has happened to. So don't let that thought and those emotions take over. So a couple of things. So what can you do about it? Don't overreact. Don't react in emotion. Think, pray, meditate, talk to a friend, go for a walk, whatever. Whatever you need to do in that situation. But don't allow emotions to make you react. The second thing that you can do is you can report them to paparazzi's compliance. You can gather your proof. Paparazzi wants proof. This is part of the process. It is available to us and it is everyone's choice as to how she wants to go about this. I won't instruct you one way or the other. It is your choice. What can you go to sleep with at night? Can you go to sleep with, I did what I needed to do. I took proof and reported this person or are you okay to let it go? That's 100% a personal choice. I won't even tell you what I do because I don't want you making my choice. I want you to make a choice according to your heart, your soul, and what needs to happen for you because this is an individual business. So I'll let that one go, but you do have the option to report them. 
And so I want you to remember a few things. The choice is up to the other person. You can't make anyone join your team. Boy, do we wish we could, but we can't. We can't. Instead, it's their choice. If they choose to go with this other person as their sponsor, that's okay. It's on them. It's on them. It is the consultant's choice, the new consultant's choice. It is up to whomever they decide to go with. And it's okay. It hurts. It's frustrating, especially when you know it's poaching. But it's their choice. Let them choose. I have in the past, me personally, I have sent, I have asked. So what made you choose, you know, this person? I can't even name names. No one comes to mind. But what made you choose that person? What made you decide to go with her? And I will get answers. And sometimes I use them to better me and sometimes I let them roll off. Oh, she answered my questions better. Oh, really? Cool. How? <laughs> like, hmm. Because I need to know that kind of stuff. But if you're asking this potential in a in a rude way or in a hurt way because you're feeling, you're all up in your feelings, don't ask. Shut your mouth. But in a couple of days when you're cool and calm, if you are able to emotionally be like, all right, girl, so I got a few questions. What made you choose this person? You know, what did she do differently that maybe I can implement in mine? If you are at that point, ask. But if you're still angry and pissed off and really hurt about it, keep your mouth shut. Love you, but don't do it. Um, remember that shopping with several consultants is very normal. Think about before you joined Paparazzi, maybe you were a customer and you shopped with a whole bunch of them. A whole bunch of them. Because we all have different stuff. And that's the beauty of their business. Don't take that beauty away from your customers. They don't all have to shop with you. And that's okay. They are allowed and welcome to shop with anyone they want. We tell people the thing we love most about our business is that there's no competition for sales. So don't put competition in there. They can shop with whomever they want. Don't forget that part. And this last point about things to remember. Shady people don't last. You know, it's biblical that evil may win for a season. But seasons end. And so I want to encourage you. Let me encourage you. Let me speak to you. I hope you're still watching this. Because my heart is here. I want to encourage you. Don't give up because of someone else's shadiness. Don't do that. I might cry. Don't let someone else's poor way to run their business change you, change the way that you run your business. Don't let that happen to you. But don't allow someone else to make you leave a business you love and that really is working for you don't allow their actions to cause you to leave i know it hurts a lot but they won't last whether you believe in god or any other thing out there Karma is real. What we put out, we get back. You don't have to reprimand them. You don't have to do any of that. And you don't have to worry. They will learn their lessons. And you aren't the one teaching them. So instead of worrying about what other people are doing, right or wrong, your job is to go back to work. But your job is not to go back to work because you're pissed off and have a point to prove. It's good. It's good to be angry. It's good to keep working. But that will color the next people. Okay? So your job is to keep working your business. 
Your job is to go sell. Your job is to go find new customers. You found the first ones, you sure can find more, I promise. Your job is to continue to grow your customer base, to love them, to love them hard. Anytime I see poaching happen for me, I step up my love for my customers. I have a video all about that that you can watch. But anytime I see that poaching, I step up in that area. Because though they may shop with other consultants, they come home to me. Because I love and love hard. And so your job is to work your business, to love your customers, to build those relationships with them, to build relationships with potential consultants. That is your job. And you need to go back to that when this happens. And then lastly, find the people who want you. Who want you as a sponsor, who want what you have to offer, who want your style of training, who mesh well with you. Because truth be told, I've been around forever, ever. And I've seen those consultants who were poached, those, those new consultants who were poached, and I've seen them working. And I've seen, oh boy, I dodged a freaking bullet because she would drive me nuts. Okay? Be okay when this happens. Be okay. Understand that there is a higher power, whether you believe it or not, looking out for you, taking good care of you. And perhaps, perhaps this poaching situation that you're so mad and hurt over right now is dodging a big fat bullet in like three weeks when you're just going to see them posting all over Facebook and you're just like, Oh, I'm glad that's not my mess to clean up. <laughs> perhaps. Perhaps. Okay. So I got a lot emotional there. I'm so sorry. No, I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry at all. I'm a very emotional, loving person. This stuff is real life stuff, and this will happen to you. And I hope you watch the whole video. It's very, very long today. It normally doesn't get this long, but this one is powerful. And I hope that it helps you as you go through your own poaching scenarios. Everything will work out for you. Just hang in there, I promise.